I have to do that all over again. Oh, there's no fucking way. <laughs> there's no fucking way. Okay. Okay. Ooh. This is some like Kingdom Hearts shit right here. I'm starting to think right now that if John ever sees this boss, I think he would love this. I think he would love this kind of boss. This is insane. <laughs> you fly about me like a gnat. What's going on now? I am inevitable. I oh, he said they said the thing. <laughs> they said the thing. You strike this incarnation with all your might. It's Wait, are we doing any more damage? What's going on here? Whoa. Are we doing enough damage to him? What's going on? No, fuck! How is this going? I'm scared. Is it gonna do the laser? Oh. No! 
And he goes for the pitch. Oh. Please. He pissed on the fucking moon. Sonic pissed on the fucking moon. No. Oh god, that's really how it ends. Fucking hell. That was Sonic Frontiers, everybody. Oh my fucking god. Ooh. What a fucking ending. Holy shit. This game fucking rules. That boss fight was amazing, like... Oh... Actually, now that I think about it, it... That final boss fight... Seemed... Actually seemed a little bit underwhelming. Oh... Yeah... These are man tears. Definitely, definitely man tears. Oh, take care of father. Oh my god. This better be some like 180 turn word. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Ian Flynn. And also those two people. <laughs> Kishimoto. And I, I missed that other name. But fucking thank you, Ian Flynn. For writing this game. Ugh. Oh my god. <gasps> what a fucking good game. I'm actually glad this happened. Ugh.
This better be some like 180 turn like happy ending where Robot or Eggman. I'm gonna keep saying Robotnik. Happens to find her in like some secret data or something. I think she sacrificed herself to s blow up the moon. But Supersonic only just did like a chunk of it. Yeah. That ending like he pissed on the moon. Blew a chunk at it. But I guess it wasn't enough to kill it completely. And I think it was trying to self-destruct. And that's when Sage came in and sacrificed herself. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss her already. Dear father, one way dream vandalized. Yeah. Oh, my God. This was probably the best Sonic game in a while. Like, Sonic Forces was okay. Not good, not bad, but okay. Lost World was fun. Yeah, it came after Generations. I never played Sonic Mania yet, but a lot of people say it's fun and good. Team Sonic Racing was just there. And I guess those were, oh yeah, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom, yeah. Almost forgot about that piece. But ever since Generations, we haven't had anything at that level of hype in a long time. And I think Generations came out like 10 years ago. <sighs> oh. <sighs> I'm good. I'm good. This was fucking amazing. I am actually glad I got to play this. Oh my god. <laughs> then I highly recommend playing this game to everybody. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, it looks like we're going home now. So, that was fun. <laughs> uh, really? But I guess it's time we got moving. I know you all have big plans. You're gonna hardly recognize me when we see each other again. I wonder if Cream and Sticks are free. Sticks! Take a road trip out of it. And Cream. Good to get back to my island. At least for a while. We're wasting daylight. Let's go. This must be Vandalize. See, I knew they'd mention other Sonic characters in this game. Yeah, I'm going to turn that shit up. Oh, well, yeah, holy fucking shit. I, I definitely highly recommend playing this game, like... If you've been a longtime fan, like, I don't even care what anybody says. Even that, like, even the, um, the donkey video that came out and the fan base were, like, review bombing the game. And it kind of left a big scar on it. Although, I'm going to look at, uh, oh, pardon me. I'm going to look at uh, how it's doing so far. Oh yeah, this song. This has definitely got some like endless possibility vibes. Like <laughs> it's a bit butt rock, but like it's actually good brut rock or is it even I don't I don't even know at this point okay it is 10 out of 10 on Steam it is overly positive no it went okay 
it went down to 8.3 on user score on Metacritic. It's still the same meta score though at 72. It was at 74, uh, 75 at launch, but it went down by three. It was at 9.0 on user uh, user score when it launched, and then it went down by 0. 0.7. I bet you it's the review bombs from the donkey video. And then the others on Steam, it said 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, baby. Overwhelmingly positive, 95%. God, I just love... You know what I absolutely love? What makes me so happy about this game is that seeing everybody else's reaction as very positive. Like, even some of the... Like, some of the Sonic haters on YouTube and, like, Twitch and everything, like, they actually had a good time with this. Some who actually, like, poke fun of the franchise or, like, make memes out of it and, like, calling us Sonic fans cringe <laughs> or something like that. Like, we're not supposed to like things. I'm, pff, pff. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I love this game from back to back, coast to coast, east to west, and so on and so forth. Oh boy. That was a lot of fun. I actually liked it so much. It had a little bit of jank. I ain't not gonna lie. It definitely had some jank, but... It was, like, overshadowed by a lot of the awesomeness in this game, like the supersonic fights, the the cyberspace levels, like, they were very creative of what they did. Like, most of those levels were recognizable. The voice acting. The writing. Oh my god. And, yeah, the writing direction they went through, then the... The music, we cannot forget about the music. Like, everything about this was great. They've done a really good job at this one. <sighs> and this actually gives me, well, I've always, like, I've always appreciated them that they would, or I've always, uh, Like, I've always thought they were going to succeed at this one. Like, this was their game. This, this was their game, and they did whatever they want with it. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew they would do it! Oh yeah, baby! She's back! She's back at it again! Ooh, that's my girl! Oh my god. Oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> I'm actually gonna, like, ugly cry. Anyways, as I was saying, like, if they continue... Like, since this game got very successful, could you imagine the future Sonic games with this type of hype? With this game engine, with the gameplay, they could improve on this. They could improve. They could add more to this in future games. They could add another Sonic Adventure game with this type. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. Holy shit, they could do this. Also, what is arcade mode? Oh, okay. Ah, I see. 
Yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, that is it. I'm not even sure if there is a... Yeah, I'm not even sure if there is any other content that I have to go through for this game. Oh, holy shit. Like, they could do so much with this now. Now that they've probably made so much sales on this. I'm so happy for them. And I'm so happy for the people that actually like this. Oh, okay. Oh, is that how they call a shmup? I I never knew about that this whole time. A shmup is actually pronounced, or I guess it's an acronym called shoot 'em up. I thought John was just saying smup because it's probably like a bad game, but no, he actually has been saying shmup as in like shoot 'em up, like a shooter game. From my first like bullet hell boss fight mini game ish kind of game. I did pretty good. <laughs> I did pretty damn good. Holy shit. Okay. So I guess I already did it. Then that means that there's nothing else left to do with this game, except I'll just have to do the completion off screen. Get the platinum trophy for it. Oh my God. <laughs> this game was so fucking good. Oh, uh, I am so happy for this, and I can't wait to see what happens in the future of Sonic. Like, I feel like I've been the only person in this fan base or in this, like, universe that wants to keep Sonic's reputation alive. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one. <laughs> But now seeing this, it's like, this opened everybody's heart. Oh, oh god, could you imagine like a Sonic Adventure remake with this type of engine? Oh, that'd be so sick. And with the momentum and all, oh my god, this, this opens so many possibilities. Okay. Yeah, the final, <clears throat> the final cutscene. Dr. Eggman is deep within the structure on the Starfall Islands, typing away at the makeshift computer and its ambience from his machine can be heard, almost sounding like a digital heartbeat. Ooh. <laughs> so maybe do you think that symbol is a heart? I'm still trying to figure out what that symbol means throughout the whole game, but maybe that's a heart. Eggman stops typing and executes the program. The screen glitches just before the glyph that's been following Sonic all throughout the Starfall Islands appears. Uh, Sage's voice can be heard. The biggest takeaway from this is that the Doctor has somehow managed to resurrect Sage, but exactly how takes some thought to figure out. The glyph on the screen was never fully explained, but it may have something to do with how the Coco's souls lifted into the sky and the glyph appeared when Sonic and his friends brought them peace. There's a chance that the glyph represents cyberspace. The ancients used cyberspace to upload their souls and almost their entire existence. Overall, the true ending uses its quiet atmosphere and ambience to fill the viewer with intrigue before giving the important reveal that Sage isn't fully gone after her brave last stand. It leaves the player with that at their as their last moment within the game. It certainly feels like a tease for some DLC, or perhaps that a sequel to Sonic Frontiers is quietly in the works within Sonic Team. This should excite the fans who adored the game that more is coming so soon. It isn't clear what, but at the very least, fans don't have to mourn the loss of Sage in the meantime. The end. And if you'd like to see more of my Let's Plays, including the Sonic games I've done so far, smash that subscribe button and like the video and comment on it if you like. And this has been Mr. Bry Guy with Sonic Frontiers. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next game. Peace out.